friends, it's Deanna here today. And have you ever wondered how easy it really is to make curtain panels? Or cute pillow envelope covers? Well, let me show you how you can just use a little bit of fabric to turn a whole room around and make it look so cute and so personal to whatever you like. Um, so let's do it. <laughs> All right, friends, the first thing we're going to do is measure our window, just so we know exactly how big we want to make this curtain. Now, I'm only making one panel um, because I just want the one panel on the side, but you can make uh, two panels or however many panels, depending on how wide you want it to be. I'm going to measure from one end to the next, and that's 30 inches. You want to measure how wide you want it, depending on how wide you want the curtain to be. Next, we want to measure how tall you want your curtain to be. Now, I just want my curtain to go to the bottom of my window, but if you want it all the way down, you're gonna measure all the way down. You're gonna measure just where you want it to be. We'll add the extra for the hems and stuff later. I'll let you know exactly how much, but I'm measuring mine from where I'm gonna hang it all the way down to where I want it to hang to, and that is 55 inches. So for my curtain is 30, by 55. Go measure your curtain. I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna add and we're gonna get to cutting. All right, friends, it's time to cut our fabric. So our curtain and the width of our curtain is going to be, well, the width of our window is 30. Um, so we want either two 30 inch panels so that they gather up and bunch up so they're not just a straight panel or one 60 inch panel um, because you want it to be gathered up like I just said so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one panel I'm going to be making one panel today and I'm going to be making it 30 because it'll cover half the window um, but I'm going to add two extra inches to the side so that I can do my hem on the sides so I'm going to make it I'm going to cut it at a 32 inch wide now for the height my window is 50 five inches tall and I am actually going to add 10 more inches to that so I'm going to cut it at 65 because I want four inches at the top so I can make my two inch uh, casing my two inch fold over casing and we'll go over that and then I want six inches at the bottom because I'm going to make a three inch a hem and the reason why we do such a big hem at the bottom is because we wanted to um, have weight on it so it can be it can hang down um, and, and make your curtain straight okay I'm going to be using um, this kind of heavier uh, fabric that I got at the store it's super cute I love this light color and I love the little design on it so I'm super excited so I'm gonna go ahead and cut again I'm cutting at uh, 32 by 65 I am going to be using my mat, and um, since it's such a small mat and doesn't fit all my all into it, I am folding my fabric in half, so it gives me less. I don't have to use so much room. You can also cut your fabric on the floor, or if you have a huge table, it might be easier to cut that way. Um, but I'm just gonna cut my size first, my width, and then I'll go to my length. Now I folded my fabric again um, for me to be able to cut the rest of it and to know how tall, so this is half of it, so then I'm gonna go ahead and be able to cut at the other end. All right, so the first thing we're going to do now that our curtain panel is cut, we're going to sew that those sides. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fold in a whole inch and steam after folding that whole inch, we're going to fold the fabric into the inside to create that half an inch seam allowance. So we're just gonna fold it in and go all the way down and repeat for both sides. Once we're done, we're gonna go over to our sewing machine and top stitch that edge and all the way down both sides. When you're, he when you're hemming, make sure to back stitch at the beginning and at the end of your curtain. All 
All right, friend, now that our sides are done, as you can see, they're nice and neat and they have been hemmed, really, really cute. We're gonna move on to our top. Now make sure that your fabric is facing the right way. Here my birds are facing the right way, so I'm good to go, because you know, I always mess that up. And then we're going to do, we're gonna fold down uh, four inches, because we're going to do a two inch fold. So we're gonna fold down four inches, and I am using a little bit of a ruler this time. I don't usually use it just so I can make sure I've got my four and I'm gonna steam it. And then we're going to do exactly the same thing that we did on our other, our sides. We're gonna fold in to that middle and down to create that two inch hem. And like, we're gonna create like a casing for a rod to go into. I'm gonna show you once again. I folded four inches down and steamed then I opened up, folded to the corner, folded my uh, uh, fabric to the corner and folded down and steam. And that will give you your two inch hem, hem right here and you have your gap right here once we sew it where you're going to put in your curtain rod. So let me go ahead and pin and sew. Remember that at the beginning and at the end, you're going to backstitch to secure that seam, secure that stitch. All right, our top is done. And once I trim these, we'll be completely perfect. And we have enough space to fit your rod in. Now, if you're using a thicker rod, you're going to want to make this obviously a bigger uh, allowance so that way your rod will fit. But this one is perfect for the one I'm using. And now our last step and we're done, we're doing our bottom hem. And we're just going to be doing the same thing. We're going to fold in, this time we're going to do um, six inches because I want a three inch hem and we're going to fold down six inches. Sorry, there's fuzz everywhere. And once we fold down six inches, we're going to steam and then fold in and steam again. And then we're going to pin and sew and we'll be done with our curtain panel. Was that not so easy? That was super, super easy. I am telling you, instead of spending the big bucks on curtain panels, you can make your own curtain panels, especially because there's times where I can find this fabric on sale for like really good prices. And I'm like, I can change my curtains through all the seasons. I think this would be a perfect spring or even a winter theme because it's got that light and airy feel, which I love. So I am completely excited about this panel. So I'm gonna go ahead and top stitch will be done and we'll move on to do an envelope pillowcase with the same fabric because we want everything to kind of coordinate, right? <laughs> All right, let's sew it. All right, so our cute little curtain panel is done and I am super excited about it. I think it's going to look super cute. It's the perfect thing to just add a touch of cuteness to any room. And really, I'm gonna probably end up making another one to match it because I love it. Or just put another panel behind it that is sheer and it will look super, super cute. That was so simple. But just the simple, it's going to be this uh, pillowcase, envelope pillowcase that we're going to make next. I've got my pillow that I'm going to be using and you can use any pillow you already have or you can go ahead and get pillow, 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 pillow stuffing or pillow from any store that sells one. I'm just using a pillow I already have. I just want to cover it because when you cover it, you'll be able to take the cover off and wash it and change it with the season and all that. So we're gonna hide and boob. We're gonna go ahead and make some. So we're gonna measure our pillow first and we're gonna start from seam to seam and that is 16 inches and then from seam to seam also 16 inches my pillow is 16 inches all the way around so I'm gonna go ahead and put it aside and our first our front piece we're going to make that 
the same size. So whatever size your pillow is, that's the size that we're going to make that front piece out of. And then the back side, we want to overlap it two inches on each side, so four inches overall. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut it in half because we're going to put, we're going to uh, cut two pieces. So if my pillowcase is 16 inches and I cut it in half, that's eight inches. Once I've cut it in half, we're going to add two inches on each side. So I'm going to cut each panel at eight, I mean, I'm sorry, at 10 inches because that was eight plus two that's 10 so I'm gonna cut two panels of 10 inch and then I'm going to cut um, one panel 16 by 16 so 16 by 10 I'm sorry I'm confusing everyone already You're like what yes 16 by 10 is what we're gonna cut our backs two 16 by 10 one 16 by 16 I hope that made sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my fabric. I'm just using this uh, quilter's ruler because it is already 16 by 16. So that makes it super, super easy to cut. There is my front. Now we're gonna cut the back. All right, now that all pieces are cut out, we're going to grab our back pieces and we're going to hem this back piece. We're gonna go down about a half an inch. And then we're gonna go ahead and fold that half an inch in and you'll have a quarter inch seam allowance. Ha, ah, it's hot. But you don't want that to come unraveled. Woo! Let it cool off before you keep going. You don't want that to come unravel, unraveled as you you know take your pillow in and out so you want to make sure that you have that hem right there I'm gonna do it for this one and I'm gonna do it for the other one as well the piece that's gonna overlap all right what we're gonna do is we've got that front one already done the bottom one here's the top one they align so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on this one half an inch now if you have a serger you can go ahead and serge that edge and then you could just fold down once, but if you don't, you can just go ahead and do the double fold, quarter inch, quarter inch. I'm gonna go ahead and sew that up and top stitch right along the edge. Now that our backs are hemmed, we're gonna grab our front and lay it right side up on our mat. And then we're gonna grab our backs and we're gonna lay them right sides together on top of our mat and we're gonna overlap those seams that we hemmed. So they're overlapping right here. And all we gotta do now is sew all the way around the whole edge. So I'm just pinning all the way around and then I'm gonna go over on my sewing machine and sew all the way around and we'll be done basically. So let's go ahead and sew it. All right, now that we've sewn all the way around our pillowcase, we're gonna go in these corners and clip those corners. Again, if you wanted to go back with your serger or your sewing machine and do a zigzag stitch or a searched edge um, to make sure that your pillow is not gonna come unraveled, you can do that. Um, as you can tell, I didn't, I just went for it. Now we're gonna turn our pillowcase and we want to use any kind of tool to poke out those corners now make sure that you don't push too hard because you don't want to rip your pillowcase. So I'm just poking out these corners. You can use, there's all kinds of tools you can use for that. Even a pencil sometimes if I don't have a tool. All right, once those corners have been poked out, our pillow goes right in. All right, our cute curtain and our cute pillow are both done and they look amazing super cute this would also be a great gift to give to somebody who just moved into a new house um, or for a college student going into a dorm super cute way to make all things look new um, i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope you have a great rest of your day please comment like share subscribe if you haven't um, so you can be entered for our fun fan giveaway a 50 dollars alien mag gift certificate come check us out at our website i hope you have a great rest of your day and i'll see you all next time bye